forgot the. Well, remember the count. first the first one where they said it was too slow. It was a ten pool, and then yeah. uh, the second game was an eight pool. Yeah, and then I think he could have done more damage with those lings actually. Um, Pop Tart and I were talking in chat about how he probably could have taken out that second gas, and yeah, um, just slow slow down. The... Go ahead. Yeah. No, no, no. Just like slow down the production because he had a lot of sentries in that single push and um, so many force fields went down. And STN. Yeah, he could have made some roaches, but in the end, that was just really hard to get back from. So we're wait, wait, yeah, waiting for the uh, load screen to happen. And uh, Soy Pop Tart, is this your first time on my stream? Yeah, yeah, I've, I never casted before. All right. Oh, what? <laughs> so go ahead yeah. and uh, give us a little history of your SC2 career or gaming in general. Like, when? What's your uh, StarCraft uh, history like? Uh, I played StarCraft since season one, and I was bronze scrub. And then I accidentally found the GSL. Like, people used to restream the GSL, mm -hmm. and that's how like I learned about the competitiveness. And then I all in to get the bronze or get the silver. <laughs> and I just to get that to watch his streams and play. Okay, so well, how about you take the right and Asian Vitality take bottom? All right. So at the top, top right, we have STN the Green Zerg, and on the bottom of GSL Metropolis up two games. This is game point for him. Is our Teal Protoss boss and GQ? Asian, you're going to a football game tomorrow. Yes, Eagles versus Redskins in You're going to freeze to death. It's going to be so cold tomorrow. Do you, do you yeah. know how cold it's going to be tomorrow? It's like 20 degrees or something, right? 30 or 20. It's yeah. going down to 20 here. I can't imagine. Oh, man, that's going to be cold for you. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> I'm excited. Even though I'm an Eagles fan and they suck really badly this season, <laughs> it'll just be really cool to be there. That's good. That's good. Especially, uh, especially since we're in Virginia and like Redskins are what everyone else talks about. So. Is it an RFK? It's it's in it's in Washington D.C. Then? No, it's in um it's uh at Philly. So oh, Lincoln you're going Financial. to Philly? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. awesome. I thought it was yeah. going to be right there in Washington. Oh, okay. So you're going to drive the whole way to Philly to see this game? Yeah. So that's why I need to get a bed early because we're leaving at like yeah seven or eight. Oh yeah, yeah early. It's it's eleven p.m. now. Early. Good. Good job. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, you know. That's that's fine. I only need a couple hours of sleep, right? <laughs> well, you can sleep on the way there, I guess, right? Yep, exactly. So, um, there is such game as StarCraft going on right now. <laughs> um, Boss GQ, he is not doing the Forge Fast Expand. What do you guys think? I don't blame him. He he's seen everything else from STN. Why why would he do it this game? <laughs> So. Yeah, he, he's up what, He's up two games on a macro map. The Zerg went hatch first, so going gateway first for early pressure might be good. Um, yeah, no, I, I agree also, but... Oh, wow, okay, he's getting that Cyber Knight Explorer. Obviously preparing for that POTS tournament next oh, week so he can get out that early Mothership core. Um, <laughs> <laughs> saving up that Chrono as well for it. So, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, yeah, well, where could he go from this build? I... It's been so Four long eight. since I... Yeah. I, I was honestly considering that too. Um, like, he has so much chrono saved up. Oh, he just used one. But it's still, it could be four gate. Yeah. But it's still on one gas. Hasn't plopped down any other tech structures or anything. Um, that, that's very possible. <laughs> and so, I, so I, you are on the fence about what race you want to play in HOTS, is that correct? Yeah. Ter Terran's is kind of like, it feels like the same old, same old Terran. Just like a couple upgrades. Like I still open up the same. No, no difference in the opener. Okay, so say you were going to play a tournament next Friday. Which race would you play? Uh, so far Terran. Terran. Okay. Well, what are you once playing? I hit oh, once I hit level twenty with Terran, I'm gonna play Protoss. So we'll see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, that pile at the top. Yeah. Oh, but he throws out the X's. Yeah. What is this? GQ was chronoing out his stalkers out, so I don't know. <laughs> um, and plus, he has no wall up, so okay, I'm just now putting a gateway down. Um, I was thinking this would be like a variation of like hide your forge in the main, so the Zerg doesn't get a count on your upgrades, but there's no forge down yet, so 
I don't know. The three gate should finish though by the time warp gate finishes. Mm -hmm. And, and two stocks without without league speed could do a lot of damage. Yeah, ten zerglings are on the way. FTM needs to get this a good surround. Oh no, not oh. the overlord. Not the overlord. It has kids. Boss Jakey loses these two stalkers. Oh, yeah, it's actually going to be a packy corner. And oh, those links could have had a surround on creep, but just enough time for those stalkers to get out. And no gases are being taken. Oh, are being occupied, so um, STN is far, far away from getting that link speed. All right, so here's the here's the question of the night or question of the weekend: Is there anything game gamer related you're getting for Christmas that you know you're getting for Christmas? Hmm. Maybe like whether it be like whether it be hardware, software, blah blah, whatever. I might get the keyboard. Nice. Because I, I go to tournaments, like MLGs and stuff, and I have the players sign the back of my keyboard, and this one's filled up. Nice. No, that's that's actually really cool. Um, I, I can't beat that. I'm getting a freaking laptop cooler. The, like, heating, cooling pad. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Just because... Does your um, laptop overheat? There, there have been a couple times where I was casting the Daywalker, where... Um, <laughs> No, no, specifically. Like it burnt you? Huh? Like it burned you or something? Uh, no, it's just like it. Uh, my laptop has like a, a safety, like a safety, like internal switch where like if it gets to this point over like this temperature, it'll just automatically shut off. Wow, interesting. And I thought it was my, I thought it was my internet this entire time, but actually it was. So sad. you have a throttle. You have a throttle key, basically, where it, when it gets to a certain temperature, it'll start throttling down and shutting off components of your PC. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So, um, yeah. So that's kind of gamer related. Um, <laughs> Boss GQ, uh, gamer related, uh, putting down his dark shrine. No Leia or Evo chamber. Oh wait, there's an Evo chamber. Yeah. SDN made oh. sure to put down that Evo chamber. Um, not not as quickly as game one, but he, he got it down. He'll <laughs> yeah. be safe. Really, dark shrine going down? Yes. Yeah, behind yes, it is. I see it. Yes. This isn't this isn't a very typical opening you'd see um, from Protoss, but this is actually I don't know. It's it's interesting, but I think it might work as well if uh, STN's not prepared for it. Yeah, no spores down yet, but no reason to have down. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, Oh, 4D keys worked in at the top. Uh oh. So he's, and they're gonna go. He's gotta split them up. Oh, three, three going. down bottom. He should kill that bottom hatch. I don't think there's any chance that's living. Uh, you should kill that clean. Oh no. Clean's gonna go around. And the spore goes down for some reason. And there's one in the main. And the drones are surrounding the hatchery. <laughs> The hatchery goes down in, at the third base. Where did the other DT go? Is it all still here? It's in the main. It's, the main. Oh, it's in the main. Oh, it's it's Five racking kills, away. Six kills. All right. Man, STN was not ready for this. He was actually about to put a lot of pressure in, uh, making a bunch of roaches and all sorts of things. Overseer on the way. But that DT, so much 13 kills though. All of drones. 13 workers killed. A third hatchery destroyed. I think that's a pretty nice trade. <laughs> And all of the DTs, like, all but one, get out unscathed. And uh, you know what that means for the Protoss? He got a good scout with all those DTs, so he knows exactly what composition the uh, Zerg has right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he sees no spire. It's just it's a Stefano style of just roaches. Yeah, but unfortunately he won't get to his full max at 12 minutes because he's very far away from that, especially losing the yeah. third. And um, so... Um, where where do you see this game going? Because I feel like as of right now, the Protoss player is miles ahead. Yeah, I like I would have if you can use the blink stalkers. He's gonna have to snipe the overseer. The DTs can clean up the army, and then just with force field, so he can't get in the base. Yeah. Yep, blink about seventy five percent done. Glaver constitution about sixty percent done. So uh, we're gonna definitely have some roach stalker battles going on later on here, or maybe even right now, because these roaches are getting kind of close to this natural. Yeah, I think so here one they go. big difference is 
Um, the Protoss is just now getting his plus one attack, whereas the Roaches have plus one missile. So I think if. Um, them up. One going around back, one going around front. Watch out. Oh no! Oh, oh nice force good. fields. Force fields. Oh, traps about five Roaches. Um, and that's gonna shut it off, but he's just gonna go straight for the main. Or the natural. <laughs> Yeah, and because those Protoss locked himself out. No, did you notice that? He couldn't go up the ramp because he force filled it off, so the Roaches just went down to the natural. Oh, yeah. here we go. Uh, GQ made an Observer first after that Robo instead of just a straight Immortal. Which I don't think he really needed the Observer since the DT scouted everything. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, a bit of damage, pylon down and a uh, gateway. But STN is still... Um, saturating up his third no gases on it quite yet and he's just keeping up the pressure more roaches being made and the plus oh. one carapace is about to be finished oh. oh i was gonna say he he almost took his roaches in too far there he wasn't watching i don't think yeah he's he's oh this is a really nice concave on that protoss army even though he's attacking up ramp but a couple of roaches will get caught out of position Blink is done for boss GQ, but will you just sack his third? I don't think so. <laughs> he should pull it to the top there, he goes, yeah. Yeah, all these roaches are... are just, I don't know, they're trying to do a lot of damage, but really good Blink Micro from boss GQ, forcing those um, roaches to engage in mortals, or mortals get free shots on the roaches, and it's scary. It's gonna get out of there. STN still has 59 workers and his third base is mining. Yeah. So that wasn't even close to all in or anything. Y you know what's weird? He's banking a lot of resources, and I'd really like to see him tech to infestors or even a spot, anything really. He's just cranking out roach after roach. Um, upgrades will help, but only so much. Yeah, infestation pit just goes down now. Forties. I oh, use chrono in the forties. Good. Yeah. Go and speak up. Come on, Sway. Speak up there. Don't mumble. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> and actually, just check out, quiet. If we check out upgrades, um, it is three, three one, or two one. Sorry, two one for Protoss and one one for the Zerg. So this engagement up at the front near the natural, it's not gonna bode well for the Zerg. Clear. He's gonna get out of there. Yeah. Oh, yep. an offensive blink forward. You want to try to take out more of these roaches? And the uh, uh, supplies have evened out now with that uh, engagement from the Zerg. Yeah, with yeah. with Chrono Boost and Double Forge, there's no way the Zerg will catch up in upgrades. And he only has one Evo Chamber. Really? Yeah. At, yeah. Oh. And, and at this point, they're on even footing on bases, so the Protoss is actually in a great position. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. Now so getting still on like hack demo. tree tech, except for like layer upgrades. But he yeah. has no like he has no infested or anything out. Yeah, just now getting pathogen glands. He should he could queue up some right now, and he does. Wow. Um, I'm all double colossus. I gotta say, this is interesting building placements for the Protoss. He has all this space in his main, but no, he builds his Robo Bay in the third. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> uh oh, we have DT in the uh, th fourth base, I guess. And it gets away. Oh no, it gets destroyed because the observers were there to spot it. And now the uh, pylon goes down finally. So we have a maxed out Zerg right now at 18 minutes, just about. Um, with Colossus in the way, he's going to have to get a really good engagement, especially since he's behind in attack upgrades. Uh, STN. So. Um, and I don't think this is the way to do it, going up a ramp into this kind of choke area. Uh, uh oh. Oh, the classes aren't fighting the battles. Force fields? Oh, decent force fields, but still some units will trickle in and. Oh, that burrow. The rush <laughs> oh. <laughs> But. And the fungal. The fungal goes oh. down on those infestors. Or on those, sorry, immortals. Uh oh. But, yeah, just not enough roach support to finish this off completely. Those infestors are going to be what's left, and an offensive blink should be able to take out a lot of these units. If they were even upgrades, that would have been a win fight for sure for SCN. 
But that yeah. plus three, plus two is definitely helping the product. And I think what's scary right now is um, after that trade, uh, I guess it was a pretty relatively even trade. I guess the Protoss came out a little bit on top, but he has so many minerals just to come back on. Uh, getting his fourth down, getting warping a bunch of zealots, stalkers, all of that. Whereas STN's just now, he hasn't even saturated his fourth. So. I would like to see a warp prison play. This map's pretty long. Oh, here we go. Quick engagement of units. And that Colossi is actually shelling out a lot of AoE damage all over the Zerg army. And just STN is dropping in so much and supply so quickly. Um, jeez, he's got a he can't engage this right now. I like the two chains leaving with the Colossus. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, there are so many more zealots right now. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, that 2k bank is gone. Yeah, I that 2k bank is, was was dead gone. All of his investors are oh, on nice flank high. though. Oh jeez, sick flank, but... Ooh. Watch out Colossus, Colossus, oh nope, gets the Colossus out of there. Oh, I blink back into the Colossus. But these zealots are actually doing so much damage. Yeah. They, they should be tanking, but they're actually dealing as much damage as they're tanking. I'm just, I'm just gonna call it those zealots were a, a, a uh, bio force field. <laughs> no, and investors dying. Yeah, three, three, three to two, one. one. Oh, I think STN's gonna call GG pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Protoss. Well, you know what? I, I don't blame him for not just walking up there right now, but you know. When you're ahead, you're ahead. You have to realize it, and he's going to go in right now on the decree with this. Does he have an observer? That three three. <laughs> yes, he does. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, he has an observer with his army. All right, so he's taking oh, out the creep tumors. Trying to take out the colossi, but the colossi with the three armor do not oh, die, I and he's going to pick him up. <laughs> the colossus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You cannot have him unless you get like one corruptor and dodge a crap load of stalkers. But just did you see that he uh, got? The, I think he picked up the uh, colossus in the in the uh, war prism. Uh, oh, you got 21 it. Twenty-one kills before it died. Damn, uh, the colossus had 36, 38, and GG is called. All right.